Hello HP Touchpad users, great news! Today I'm going to show you how to fully uninstall any version of Android or CyanogenMod Mod from the HP Touchpad. Please start by referring to my How to Install Android on the HP Touchpad the Easy Way guide at either RootsWiki or the XDA Developers Forums. These are your full guide for getting Android off and on the HP Touchpad. Full instructions, download links, and all the important information can be found here. The first thing you want to do is go down to my How to Install Android on the HP Touchpad the Easy Way Guide. Check and make sure you have step number one completed. You have both Java and the Novacom software installed onto your computer. If you've previously installed Android on the HP Touchpad, you should have these installed, but you can also go to these automated installers and make sure you have the updated versions. Once you're certain that's installed, go to step number two. Here you'll find the latest versions of the Acme Installer and Acme Uninstaller 2. These are brought to us by iMark90 based on the work of Developer Green. The newer Acme Installer files increase the size of the system partition to 600 megabytes. The Acme Uninstaller 2 also removes recovery image both of twerp and clockwork mod in addition to removing ROM names that may be left over during the uninstallation. This helps to make it a full uninstall, so if we want to reinstall Android, we won't have any extra recoveries or ROM names showing up in the MooBoot list. We want to download each of these files and place them into the Palm Inc. folder. The default location for the Palm Inc. folder will be in My Computer, the C drive, Program Files, and Palm, comma, Inc. In this folder, we simply place all our Acme Installer and Acme Uninstaller files. If they're not placed correctly in this folder, we won't be able to run the commands later and nothing will happen on our tablet when we try to uninstall or install Android. Make sure you copy and paste the Acme Uninstaller 2 file into this folder, not to be confused with the Acme Uninstaller 1. Once you have it placed in this folder, we're ready to move to the next step. Refer again to my guide at either RootsWiki or the XDA Developers Forum. Now we need to go to step number 4, how to install Android. Now that we have all our files placed in the Palm Inc. folder, we're ready to reboot our tablet into WebOS recovery mode. Normally, we enter WebOS recovery mode by rebooting the device and holding the volume up button as soon as the screen goes dark. We then see the large USB symbol on the screen and are ready to attach our USB cable. Now, because we already have Android installed, we can simply hold down the power button, go to Reboot, and when we get to the MooBoot menu, we simply reboot into WebOS recovery mode. And this will go straight into the big USB symbol on the screen and we won't need to hold any buttons. Either of these methods will work just fine for our purposes. Next, we need to open up a command prompt and guide it to the location where we just placed the Acme Uninstaller 2 file. I'm going to show you three ways of doing this. Number one, we can go to the start menu, type in CMD and press enter. This will open up a command prompt in the default location. And now we'll need to copy and paste these following commands into the command prompt to get it to go to the Palm Inc. folder. We can simply copy and paste the individual commands and hit enter after them into the command prompt. We can also copy and paste one single line for the commands, like so. Copy, paste it in, and press enter. You're now in Program Files Palm, comma, Inc. All we need to do now is copy and paste the Acme Uninstaller command into the command prompt and press enter and the uninstallation will begin. Now number two. If we already have the Palm Inc. folder open, on our keyboard we hold down the shift key and on our mouse we hit the right mouse button. In the menu you'll see open command window here. Click this and you'll already be in the Palm Inc. folder. All you need to do now is copy and paste the Acme Uninstaller command into the command prompt, like so. 
and hit enter. Now number three, go back up the page and look for the using the command prompt or terminal heading. There's an optional note right here where you can download some automated batch files. You simply download them from the link here. Note your antivirus might not like these very much, they're an automated batch file, but they're perfectly safe. Simply download it, extract it to your desktop, and open up the folder. Here I've also included automated installer files. Here's the Acme uninstaller file. We'll simply run this little batch file, and all we have to do is hit enter after our tablet is plugged in in USB recovery mode, and it will uninstall it for us. This is completely optional. Any of these three steps will work just fine for the following procedure. Make sure you have a good charge before you decide to uninstall Android from the tablet. It could take a little time. Now as soon as you press enter on any of these steps, you'll see a line of scrolling text. This is perfectly normal. Don't press any buttons. Just wait for this to complete and it will reboot into webOS. Congratulations, you've now uninstalled Android from the HP Touchpad. Please subscribe to see the latest updates with Android on the HP Touchpad. Thanks for watching.